respiratory therapist. A um, few things that respiratory therapists do, uh, some of this equipment in the background here, we do pulmonary function testing, um, which is a breathing test to see how your lungs are doing. Another test that we can do are stress testing. So when you're having trouble breathing and medications or whatnot aren't helping out, what we do is we can put you on a treadmill with EKGs and, and we monitor your heart, we monitor your lungs while you're stressing out on the treadmill and running as fast as you possibly can. <clears throat> then we do a series of, of PFTs where you breathe into the machine every so often. Um, another test that we can do is on this bike right over here. We'll get you on the bicycle, get you pedaling as fast as you can. Um, and then we, with this test, we see more of gas exchange and so forth. So in the respiratory world, there's a lot of different things that we can do. Uh, we do a lot of education. We do cultures where we analyze sputum and so forth, collection of sputum. Um, we manage life support machines. So when a patient's in the hospital not doing well, needs extra support breathing, we have the life support machines where we put patients on and we monitor them very, very closely in the hospital. Um, we do blood gases, which is type of blood that we, we obtain from the arteries to see how your lungs and your heart's doing. Um, those are just a few things to name. Awesome. To, to name everything. And what does it take to become a respiratory therapist? Like the schooling required? So, obviously, you got to get your GED, get high school done and out of the way. Then you'll go into college. When you go into college, you'll get a. You can get different levels of respiratory, but a minimum, a minimum of an associate's degree. You can get a bachelor's and a master's. Mm -hmm. And then you go to typically either a two-year or four-year program for respiratory therapy that specializes only in respiratory therapy. And that way, once you're done with all your schooling, then you'll study really hard, take your board exams, and then once you pass your board exams, there's two different ones that absolute minimum that you need to take. And then from then on, you can practice. Get awesome. a state license and then practice in whatever state you live in. Awesome, man. What is like a typical day for you? Like it begins at what time? And so I'm very fortunate here in the clinic. It's it's more of a Monday through Friday. I usually start about seven seven fifteen, go till about four thirty Monday through Friday. If you're working inpatient where you're with the more critical patients, then there you're looking at twelve days absolute minimum twelve hours. I'm sorry, twelve hours minimum for three or four days a week sometimes five, depending on, on how your schedule works out. Um, and there you do, like I said, the 12, 12 hours, 14 hours, but you're a lot more in tune with those patients because they're a lot more critical. You need to be at the bedside to see how they're doing on a much closer level. Okay, so you can so. basically work as an out, in an outpatient setting, such as a clinic or like in a hospital setting, ICU or the ward. Yep. Okay. And yeah. can you briefly explain kind of what this, like the PFT is? Uh, I briefly remember it from med school, but I uh, forget all that stuff. No, no problem. So what it is, here, let me go back on this. So we typically put a mouthpiece here, like so. And then what we have the patient do, we have them put some nose clips on their nose. Mm -hmm. So this way, um, none of their, the air is escaping from their mouth. From there, we have them do a breathing technique okay. where it's, they put their mouth on it and breathe normal for a period of time. Then we have them take a big deep breath in and blow out all the air that they can. And then we measure at different points. We measure at the first, second when they blow everything out. And then we measure, um, we can measure their smaller airways, their larger airways. And this is just a simple spirometer. And then what we can do is we, some patients that are really not doing well, we'll give them a breathing treatment and then retest them to see if there's a difference before and after the medication. Awesome, it basically mm -hmm. shows up on the, um, the screen here. Uh-huh, we, it shows up, up on the screen and the report looks something like this where it has the different numbers and, and it'll have where um, 
like a uh, force vital capacity, uh, force expiratory volume in one second, which means how fast they can blow out all the air. And then it gives us a loop of, of roughly where they are. So this loop would be how that person did. And then this one here is where they should be. So, and then they have to blow that from, for a minimum of six seconds for, t for it to be an acceptable test. So this kind of gives us a better idea of how the patient's doing, whether they're on medications or not on medications, whether they need medications. So it's pretty awesome. cool. And how much can a respiratory therapist, like out of training, how much can I expect to make? So that's a good question. I trained in California. Uh -huh. And what the starting pay there is very different with the starting pay in Texas. Is. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> so, and then depending on, I want to say it's like $20 an hour, yeah. $18, $20 an hour for fresh out of school. Mm -hmm. But don't quote me on that because from Austin to San Antonio is very different from like McKellen and Brownsville, it's very different. Yeah. So depending on the facility, the city, the state, it's very, very different. Okay, any other advice for anyone interested in respiratory therapy? What yeah. advice would you give them? Um, I would definitely go into the field. Um, you can't go wrong anywhere in the medical field. Um, it's been very, very good to me. I would have never um, chosen in a, any other field but the medical field. Um, you're you'll you'll never be without a job <laughs> awesome. all right thank you so much <laughs> no problem